I found this interesting in the most recent episode of My Hero Academia with the tentacle guy and then the lizard man. I apologize for not knowing their names. Slither, Sither, and ten, Tentacle. I, I'm i not great at these names, you guys, unless they're like main characters. Even though these two side characters that weren't like necessarily main characters were still very impactful in the last episode. And I kind of just want to share it a little bit with you right now. Um just figure why not it's just evening sunset just went down and i just kind of wanted to sit here and share this experience with you because it's interesting and i found this very interesting as well too because i could have taken a completely different path maybe you're at a crossroads right now or something along those lines and it's just one of those what direction do you take like you can be beaten you can be have all these scars you can have all this anger this frustration towards all these people who have hurt you in the past and I've been there trust me I have I get it I understand first time I forgave somebody was one of the hardest things to do but I was like I don't like where I'm at right now so like let's just try to forgive somebody and see what happens and magically like all of the colors of the skies and, and the trees and everything that I did after that meditation that I did of forgiving people that had hurt me or a person who had hurt me at that specific time, like everything was so much more bright and vibrant. I was like, this is so interesting. And this is what I feel like happens to a lot of people. And maybe you're in the same place or same boat or whatever it may be. And I tested this out myself as well too, because I feel like personal knowledge is a lot more valuable than non-personal knowledge. So I had long hair a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I was like, I thought people would look at me in a different way. I thought I'd be perceived in a different way. And I found out that I wasn't like, I mean, I personally wasn't myself. I wasn't as confident as I was. I wasn't as charismatic as it was. I wasn't as outgoing as I was. So I wanted to test things. I wanted to try things out. I figure firsthand experience is the best type of experience. And like, if I can relate with you better, I can hopefully maybe provide some more insight than if it was just me like regurgitating other stuff that I had heard online. But basically from what I found out, like I could have became resentful and angry for when I had long hair against the person that had like bullied me and picked on me when I had that, the long hair. And I could have been like, I'm never going to do this again. But I was like, you know what, as an adult, I might as well try it. I might as well see what happens. So I grew my hair out. I had it nice and long. And I was like, it's interesting. Nobody really cared because like when I cut it off when I was a kid, I got picked on, I got bullied. It was all weird and strange. And then as I grew up and as I grew older, then my hair started, like I cut it off. And like, as soon as I cut it off when I was a kid, like everybody poked it and like made fun of me kind of like I was just saying. And then when I did it as an adult, it was two completely different reactions. Everybody was like, Oh, wow, you look good. This looks great. You look fantastic. And I was like, Hmm, interesting. And some people were like, Oh, welcome back to adulthood. It's like, if you have long hair, maybe it's time for you to cut it. Maybe not. I don't know. But the main thing and I'm, just, I'm circling back to what I, but that was just like a little background story of like, I could have became resentful. I could have came, became angry around this said person for doing these said things. Or I could have like, you know, forgave and realized that like, there's other people out there that might be hurting more and I can be the hero and I can save the day in the ways that I know how to. Because a lot of our lives, at least a lot of my life, I should say, I need to say, I'll start saying a lot of my life, <coughs> It hasn't really been all that difficult. Like, yes, I have had my hardships. I have had my struggles. I have not really been like had lots of friends, but like to me, dude, like that was never really an issue for me, even though I still do kind of get like a little emotional on certain aspects where it's like, Hey, let's create new memories together. Like when class a with the flashback that you saw, I was like, I kind of feel that I'm like, Hey, that would be cool. But I'm like, I don't want to just do it with like normal everyday people. Like I don't want to just do it with like any random person. Like, don't get me wrong. I love talking with people all the time. Like it's one of my great ploys, pre- <laughs> pleasures and joys in this life is like getting to just like talk with strangers and interact and communicate and like ask questions to people that I'm like curious about. I ended up going on a hike this today before coming back and watching the episode. And I ended up like talking to like a scout troop master. I talked to this girl that was a part of like a church, um, talked with these couple of other people that were like riding bikes and she's like, Oh, well, you're still out here. I'm like, yeah, I'm still out here. I was like, that's what I do. Like, I go out in nature and I kind of like, I zen out and I do those things and it's fun. And it's exciting for me. And then I ended up going into Costco as well. I had like small, I complimented some dude's hair that was like in, in the cooler. Like he had long hair. I was like, Hey dude, it's, it's cool hair they have. I was going to compliment another guy that had a beard. Didn't end up doing that. And then I like rode my cart out. It was, a, it was a fun little day. It was a fun, fun, fun little day. And it's like people had tried to shame me for this stuff. They had to make me feel bad for being the type of person that I was for just loving people, loving to ask questions, loving to interact with other people, like being just like me basically. And for some time I took some time out. I took a time out and I was like, you know, 
<sighs> Let's be quiet. Let's not say anything. Let's just go to the gym, maybe make a video here and there. Don't really talk with anybody. And dude, it was miserable. I felt terrible doing those types of things. And I found out it's just because somebody had shamed me and I could have become resentful or like wanted to get like revenge on that person for wanting to do it, which my definition in a way, I can't remember who I heard this from, but somebody said this a while ago where the best type of revenge is the massive amounts of success. So instead of like getting revenge, like have success or somebody else told me this as well too. It's like, instead of having success, why not have happiness? Like instead of getting revenge, have be massively happy <laughs> because like then the other person is just going to pale in comparison to like whatever they ended up doing to you. Like you rise above those challenges. You rise above those shortcomings. The people that are truly weak in this world are the people that do what the lizard guy did. Like those are the weak people. They aren't really strong. They may seem strong. That's why they have like all this extra armor and they're big. It's because like they have to appear big because they aren't actually big. It's weird. It's strange, but it's like sometimes like the smallest, like Deku, prime example he doesn't have like he's not the big like all my hero but he's still going to be able to defeat shigaraki i haven't watched the an manga so i don't know how that happens but i figure i'm like this is how every shonen arc works so you know if not then i'll be pleasantly surprised i just don't see that happening um i just i don't but that's what i'm saying like the bigger they are, the typical, typically they have more like anger. They're wanting to get revenge. And I get everybody has their own ideas and ideologies. And that's why they have like all these big numbers of like 15,000 people behind them in the army. That's trying to like get into the hospital to be able to save the transporting dude. Dude, I'm, I apologize. You guys, I like, I apologize for not having the names off the top of my head. I just, for me personally, like I can said at the beginning, the names have just been names. Um, but yeah, I would say, be you bro like shine bright in the ways that you can shine bright bring your hidden talents your hidden abilities your hidden strengths out into the open because like the, with the one of the little flashbacks that we saw in the episode you saw the tentacle guy and then the bird guy and i know one's like tent tentology and then anime or animal i i, I know i'm whatever <laughs> i love the anime don't get me wrong i just don't remember these names of certain characters i just yeah i don't um but the point still stands the point still stands those two wanting to show up wanting to be on the battlefield, wanting to protect the hospital because he knew that he was in the exact same place as those other people were. Just as I was in the place that you guys are at or that you're at right now. Like maybe all you do is binge watch anime. Nothing wrong with that, but maybe that's all you do. I've been there. I'd move into a new place or I'd move somewhere else and like I'd been watch last one. I, last anime I remember, remember binge watching was Summertime Render, which was a fantastic anime, but I had to take a break. I had to take a break. I do my best not to binge any more like animes. Like I just haven't found a good anime to binge watch. Plus like, I just like doing like an episode a week or something like that. It's like I'll, I'll binge watch like three or four episodes or something like that, which is pretty solid for me. I like that a little bit more. It's all about balance. Um, but like he was able to relate to the other, like animal, like her I can't, I it started with an H, you know what I'm talking about? So he felt like since he was somebody that didn't go to the revenge side, he could hopefully inspire them to change in a positive way. Just as me, like I'm hopefully inspiring you to go try and talk with somebody, maybe go out and take a walk, go to the gym, work out, exercise, go to the mountains, go to the beach, do something a little bit different. Maybe watch a little bit less, maybe study something new, maybe put your life together in some way, shape or form, clean up the house read a book, not a manga. I don't know. These are ideas. These are things that I did instead of watching anime all the time. Cause that's all I did as a kid. I watched <laughs> from morning to night. I watched one piece. I watched like 74 episodes in a day or something like that. It might've actually been 52. It was basically like the full 16 hour day. I couldn't leave the basement because like we were getting our floors done at the time, but I watched 
that's all I did. I just watched One Piece, and that was it. And, like, I had my life cereal downstairs with some milk in the bowl. Like, I would pull that out of the fridge, and I'd drink that, and I'd eat that. And if I had to go upstairs, which I really couldn't, like, I'd have to, like, jump on the door and, like, jump over to the carpet. Then I could get in. But then I couldn't even really get into, like, the kitchen or anything like that. But, like, that's all I would do is I would just watch anime. And then as, I, as I've started to grow and as I've gotten older, my life has changed drastically. And it's like I still watch an anime from here and there, like My Hero, clearly. And then, like, the Rick and Morty, like, I still watch cartoons. Like, it's fun. It's exciting. It's my little balance. It's my little, like, you know, this is okay. It's cool. I enjoy it. It's not my whole life anymore as it once was. It's something different now. It's evolving. It's changing and it's growing. And maybe I can be that inspiring light like the tentacle guy was for the rest of the other like animal hybrid superhero people. And maybe that's something that you can try. It's really up to you. I just wanted to be a guiding light and let you know that if you're in a tough spot and you just feel like you're watching anime all the time, it's okay. Something else will click. Something will come. It always does. It always has for me at least. I don't know if it has for me, and if you've been watching the channel and if you've w- listened to this, like, I know it'll help you in the ways that it needs to. And that's why if you find somebody that you relate to and you think that you've been able to solve something or you, like, you could have taken a different route and gone down the route that somebody else did, maybe share those words. Share what it's like to be on the other side of things. You might be in- impressed and awestruck by the people that it affects. I think that's about all i got to say right now. This video is a little bit longer and it's going to be posted basically right after I record it. So enjoy your Sunday or whenever you watch this and listen to this and yeah, just be the guiding light that I know you are.